Lano thought he was just an ordinary time traveling, until he found out that he was dressed in 10,000. So, the art style of the world began to go wrong. Fight, 10,000 people come together. Practice, 10,000 people pass on merit to one. Learning, everyone excels in one subject, and I am a civilization. One person cannot become an all-rounder, but La Noa has 10,000 heads and 360 lines, and there are people who are proficient in every line. Unity is strength. Who else is more trustworthy than oneself? In the biochemical crisis, the Linos established a solid fortress of the end of the day. In the world of martial arts, the roaring of hot steel and steam tells the story of adults, and times have changed. On the Dolua continent, industrialized machine guns and cannons turn soul masters into tears of the times. In the main god space, Lan Nua, who borrows the skills of 10,000 people and wears top-dot-level battle armor, crisscrosses the battlefield. Even if the main god creates a replica, it is still as strong as the main body. In Marvel Universe, in the vast world, everyone is like a dragon, starting a new era of their own. Keywords of the Novel 10,000 My Horizons Without Pop-Ups, 10,000 My Horizons Complete Collection Download, 10,000 My Horizons Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 Unity is Strength You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Unity is Strength Lano has traveled across the country, although he has worn to the United States, although he is struggling in English, although he has seen the news about the Umbrella Company, although the virus is about to break out, and although he is just an ordinary student, although he doesn't even have the money to reserve supplies for the end of the day, he has a good mentality and has already laid flat. He even plans to carve a lifelike portrait of himself with a raised middle finger to express his merciless mockery of the absurd reality and die with a bit of dignity. Before that, Lan Nua was planning to find a girl and break free from her virginity before she died. As for where to find a girl without money. Of course, that was in his dream. Before his time traveling, Lano was a wealthy and famous person, with a sleeping income of at least eight figures. When she closed her eyes and opened them, she did not see a face that was exactly the same as her face before she passed through. The man with his face in front of his eyes looked at his watch in a cold manner. You are one of the best quality new people in this group. Lan Nua turned around and looked at the novice instructor, hey, good guy. There were more than ten people lying on the ground, all of whom looked like he had before crossing time. Faced with the eerie scene, Lan Nua calmly turned around and said to the novice instructor, do I still have time to register for 8,888 now? It's me. You're already the 351st one who wants 8888. By the way, there are 267 more I want 6666, 12 more I want 2587, 160 more I want 9527, 1145 more I want 114514. Wow, my ingredients are a bit complicated. Rookie Leno looked bewildered, sighing at how much he had engraved in his DNA. Carefully recalling, he has already put what you need to know into your mind, said mentor Leno coolly. Upon hearing this, Dia began to recall and indeed added a piece of information. Am I dressed as 10,000 people? I am now in a world of biochemical crisis, and my identities are different. Do I have to travel through it once a year? Ah. Uh. The next world is Dolua continent. Gone. Damn it. Lano considered whether to strip off the pants of his portrait to express a more merciless mockery of the absurd reality. Other Lanua woke up one by one, and upon learning that they had no special abilities and were about to be thrown into the heavens and realms, they all automatically learned the dehydration skill of the Trisolarans and became old salted fish one by one. Mentor Lanua has long been accustomed to seeing the scene in front of him, after all, he also came through this way, and he still has a bit of a b-tree about what kind of bear color he is. Ahem. Although we don't have superpowers, the Leno committee has already passed the proposal. We will do our best to ensure the survival rights of every Leno. No one can be missing. Oh. We have a millionaire inside. Yeah. 
but when it comes to each of us, there's only one thousand left. Oh. Some of us are umbrella employees. Yeah. But he's just a cleaner. Oh. Damn it. What kind of virtue am I? Mentor Lan Noa looked at a group of unruly bean sprouts and stomped his feet angrily. Give me all the energy. Including you, out of our 9,374 people, 189 are homeless. 35 people face gang extortion. 3 people face life-threatening situations. Those are all ourselves. Are you just watching them die? Just like now, waiting to die. The newcomer originally wanted to continue cheering, but upon hearing these heavy numbers, imagining the same thing falling on themselves, they couldn't make any more noise. All right, go over there and register your name, address, gender, age, and job. Just fill out the form and with our intelligence, you'll understand. Ha! What kind of ghost is gender? Can I still wear a girl? Although the bean sprouts were feeling heavy, they couldn't help but feel a chill in their hips. After all, Amelia is a free and democratic woman with random bodies. There are three unlucky people who use the bodies of transgender people, which cannot be seen here. It is said that she looks pretty in reality. Bean Sprouts Dot. Leaving the novice instructor, the bean sprouts began to register and fill in the form, and then came to the square to form a line. They looked at the square formation with identical faces, took a big step, ran in the square with uniform movements, and sang while running. Unity is strength. Unity is strength. This strength is iron. This strength is steel. Is this all organized by me? The bean sprouts couldn't help but be surprised. The novice instructor had already arrived behind them at some point and smiled, yes, it's unbelievable. At first, everyone was as salty as you, until someone came in and said he had been caught by a gang in reality, locked up in the basement, and tomorrow someone was going to cut off his organs. As they spoke, they cried and watched him cry, and everyone remained silent. Then one by one, I stood up, one by one, and we placed our hands on his shoulders. To the crying one, don't be afraid because we are here. We are our own heroes. We all need to survive, not a single one can be missing. So, everyone began to organize, register their identities, queue up, run, sing, and all of these. We have all learned in our previous lives. At that time, we felt bored, unfree, foolish, and brainwashed. But now, as we see everyone united, we cannot express our peace of mind. Don't be shy, sing along loudly. This is our war song. No matter what you face. We. Can't miss any of them. One by one, Dialan Noir looked at the familiar scene in front of him and couldn't help but feel something choking up in his throat, wanting to vent something. Don't worry. People living near a few people who are in danger of their lives have been summoned to a meeting to discuss rescue plans. Your biggest task now is to integrate into our collective. At dawn, Leno woke up from his sleep with tears on his face. His hands were tied back and he fell to the ground like a piglet. In the dark basement, footsteps could be heard. The two men lifted him up and rudely carried him into a blood-stained room, tying him to the surgical table. The light illuminated him and he couldn't open his eyes. He wanted to shout, but his face was covered in an anesthetic mask. Watching the doctor beside him take out a sharp surgical knife to wipe and disinfect, the doctor's face remained expressionless, as if facing an animal, the blade was about to fall mercilessly. Lano struggled in fear, and everything from last night was like a dream. He didn't know if it was just his dream, whether someone would really come to save him, and whether the promise that couldn't be missed could really be fulfilled. It seems that. It's too late for everything boom. The door of the room was kicked open with a kick, and a dozen or so people rushed in. The doctor with a cold expression was thrown to the ground in panic. Among the dozen or so people, a strong man like Schwarzenegger touched the blood on his face and came to Leno's side. He patted his shoulder and said, 
don't cry. We agreed. We can't miss any of them. To be continued, seeking collections, seeking recommended tickets request for tickets, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Survival at the End of the World Which family is strong? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Survival at the End of the World Which family is strong? Eight hours ago, upon learning that their lives were in danger, the Lanos immediately selected a person living near the trapped Lanos. They woke up first, searched for the location of their imprisonment according to the description, and the others urgently discussed a rescue plan. Three hours later, based on the characteristics of the terrain, the location where Leno was imprisoned was found. At the same time, ten Lenos woke up, one of whom had a gun certificate, took out their inventory, purchased firearms, and other equipment. Five hours later, 40.5 Lanoa residents living in the city, fully armed, arrived at a hotel near the trapped Lanoa. In the surrounding city, a total of 314 La Noa arrived by public transportation or car, carrying several weapons to prevent gang retaliation after the conflict. An ordinary small gang that can pull out a hundred people is already very good, and most of the time they don't really move their guns. The number of Lano is obviously too cautious for this unlucky gang at present. After discussing the tactics at the end and receiving the news that Lano had woken up from being trapped, more than forty fierce men stormed into a car repair shop, with more than a dozen gun-wielding Lano pressing in from behind. Lano, wearing a thick coat in front and wearing magazines tied to his body as simple armor, rushed in without saying a word. The cooperation between oneself and oneself is undoubtedly the most tacit. A few guys who saw the situation was not right and were preparing to report the news were knocked down on the spot, with knives on their necks and not daring to fart. Kicking open the door and rushing into the basement, there were not many guards at all. Two unlucky people who dared to take action were knocked over, and the remaining few saw so many people fiercely killing in. They all wisely chose to hold their heads and squat to defend, only receiving a heavy beating. Everyone quickly found the operating room, and then came the scene of the black-hearted doctor being pressed to the ground with a bewildered expression as he broke through the door. Trapped, Lano was released and tears streamed down his face. No one laughed at him because everyone knew that it would be the same for the rest of his life. Lanoa comforted his companions and beat up the people in this gang stronghold, looted them all, and then left without killing anyone. After all, the top priority now is to face the biochemical crisis, and legal identity is important. As long as they don't kill anyone, Lanoa has lawyers, billionaires, and even members of the gang. This trouble can be easily resolved. Unfortunately, the local mafia clearly did not realize what kind of existence they had provoked. After the young brothers frantically complained, they immediately prepared to teach these arrogant guys a lesson. After learning that this group of people didn't run away and even arrogantly found a restaurant nearby to eat, he immediately brought all the more than seventy people he could call out, hoping to argue with the Leno people who was the leader of the gang in this city. The Lanoa people did not leave, not because of their arrogance, but because they were waiting for someone. More than 300 people from the nearby city had come to meet here, but it was agreed that they would meet here. So, when a man dressed in a suit and leather shoes, dressed like a godfather in a movie, arrived at the restaurant entrance with the people, the scene was very touching. In front, back, left, and right, the streets were crowded with people, and Leno in the restaurant also stood up. Everyone gathered at the entrance of the restaurant, surrounded by the local snakes who were preparing to reason. In Leno, the strong man like Swassinger walked forward and faced the man in front of him, dressed in a suit and leather shoes. A huge shadow enveloped him and said, What's going on? What's up with you? As the words fell, all Leno took a heavy step forward, his movements neat and uniform, and the ground shook as if stepping on a person's heart. The gang leader, who originally wanted to pretend to be calm and preserve his last bit of face, almost sat on the ground with weak legs, and his subordinates were even more unbearable. Someone had already crouched down with their heads in their arms. Give me a fight. With a command from Leno, who stood up, a street fight began. 
murder is not allowed, but a harsh lesson is no problem. There is a huge difference in the number of people, and the level of cooperation is completely incomparable. The scene on the street can no longer be described as a fight, it is simply a one. Sided Assault Leaving behind a group of black gang members with bruises and swollen faces, Leno and his companions went home, packing their bags and preparing to leave. It's not about running away, with the support of Leno from all walks of life, beating people up is not a problem at all. Leaving here is for convergence, and in 45 days, the biochemical crisis will officially erupt. In no time, it will sweep across the world. At this time, most jobs, homes, and real estate are meaningless. All houses are sold, all stocks are sold, and cash is used to purchase survival supplies. Three days later, the Lanos bought a small town with huge funds. Lanos from all over the country quickly gathered towards the town, along with more supplies for the survival of the apocalypse. Trucks came and went in the small town, and at the same time, an engineering team was hired by Leno. Many Leno even joined the engineering team and quickly built reinforced concrete walls around the town, which was renamed Bruffery. A large number of weapons were secretly purchased and transported to the town. Their high-dot-profile actions immediately became news, and were ridiculed by netizens as a frenzy of end-dot-of-dot-life patients. However, the Lanos remained unmoved and had a common goal, naturally uniting together. Everyone was themselves, understood themselves, and there was no need for any secrets. The Lanos were as close as humans who had made up for it. Groundwater was brought up, and a complete water purification system was installed. A large number of basements were diligently excavated by the Linos, filling them with cans, grains, and other food that could be stored for a long time. Not only food, but also fuel, medicine, light industrial products, steel, and even some machine tools and chemical equipment that can produce old dot-fashioned firearms. This is no longer an apocalypse, but a plan to revive human civilization after the apocalypse. No one understands this crazy behavior, but in the free America, these extravagant spenders are widely popular, with generators, large capacity hard drives, and even a large number of paper books being purchased by Leno. A portion of Leno is specifically responsible for purchasing and downloading important knowledge from the internet. They not only need to face the survival crisis of this world, but also have to go to other more magical and eerie worlds in the future. There is currently no channel to acquire superpowers, and if you want to survive in other worlds, learning becomes the only option. If you are just a traveler, relying on your own brain, you can learn at most a few techniques, and within a year, you can master the entire process of blast furnace iron making. Thank goodness. But Leno has 10,000 companions, each mastering a portion of knowledge. Based on the foundation they forgot about in high school in their previous life, one year later they will become 10,000 senior engineers from World War II. As time goes by, with each Lano's efforts to fill in the gaps, the town of Bruffery is gradually being built, and the outbreak of the virus is also imminent, to be continued, seeking collections, seeking recommended tickets request for tickets, end of this chapter. If there were no accidents in chapter 3, it would be an accident. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. If there were no accidents in Chapter 3, it would be an accident if it's just an ordinary person who has traveled to a world of biochemical crisis, then at most he can only scatter all his wealth and prepare for several years of apocalyptic supplies for himself. There are a total of 10,000 people in Kono, and what they can build is a truly apocalyptic fortress, with independent energy systems, water circulation systems, radio systems, and even Reno gaining advanced access to the Iridium system through his own network. The Iridium system is a global communication satellite system developed by Motorola. Its original intention was to achieve global signal coverage through 77 satellites that resemble electrons outside the Iridium nucleus. Later, only 66 satellites were used to achieve this plan. Although Motorola finally shipped it, the Iridium system has still been preserved. Nowadays, many field research and polar exploration still use Iridium phones. 
Even if the apocalypse falls and a biochemical crisis erupts, this system can still be maintained for a long time. Even with fast internet speeds and worrying signals, just covering the world is already impressive enough. Scott was an instructor hired by the Linos, whose job was to teach them basic military skills and wilderness survival. There were also soldiers among the Linos, but there was no one like Scott who had truly fought on the battlefield and achieved military merit. In order to learn true skills, he still paid a lot of money to hire this retired soldier king. Wow! Your doomsday fortress is so cool. Scott sat on the jeep, drove over the suspension bridge, and whistled at the reinforced concrete walls. List, you are the most hardcore apocalyptic patients I have ever seen, none of them. Oh my goodness. That shouldn't be a power plant, right? Damn it. You're still growing vegetables in the city, don't you still have Chinese ancestry? List, of course, is also Leno. Upon hearing this, they smiled bitterly. They also wanted to do something for China in this world, but unfortunately, apart from warning, they could do nothing. After all, tens of thousands of people were organized to leave the country, and they were buying land and building castles in foreign lands. There was no need for zombies to attack, and the army came directly to pacify you. Planting is necessary. We have preserved a large number of high-dot-yield crop seeds and have dedicated personnel to learn breeding knowledge to ensure that good seeds will not deteriorate after the end of the world. We invite you with the greatest purpose of seeking your advice on military skills. In the face of various possible apocalypse, we must have our own ability to respond, all right, all right. You guys are really crazy. But I like generous guys like you. I'll train you like a real warrior, Scott said, continuing to point at the city, admiring the hardcore of these doomsday patients. The city even built railways specifically, with a few old dot fashion trains parked on them. Someone was modifying something on them, looking like they were going to turn this thing into an armored train. Although Scott is not an end dot of dot life sufferer, anyone who sees such a magical fortress would want to have a good visit, but the Linos have given him too much. He can only complete the training for the Linos first and then continue his own visit. Upon arriving at the playground, Scott saw a group of Leno doing Q training and physical training, nodding in satisfaction. These were of little use on the battlefield, but they proved that their big money owners were not just playing, but really training according to orders. Three hundred Lano soldiers gathered and listened to Scott's instructions. As an American officer, the usual style of training soldiers was to start with a physical insult and establish a strong hierarchy of obedience by belittling the soldier's personality. However, these were all the capitalists at the moment, and Scott could only show mercy as much as possible, which also made him worried about whether these people would strictly follow their orders. However, he soon realized that his worries were unnecessary. The attitude of the Lanos towards training was more serious than that of real reserve soldiers. Even though their physical fitness varied, some individuals even had a history of Western independence, they still worked hard to complete each training, as if they were really about to come to the front-line battlefield. Scott himself was puzzled as to where his employer had found these determined individuals. If their physical fitness were better and they continued to train like this, it wouldn't be long before they could possess combat capabilities comparable to professional armies. Little did they know that for every Leno, there is a high probability that they will face the battlefield next, whether it is for the collective, for themselves, or for an indispensable promise. Hard training is necessary. This is like the example often used by high school teachers to mock students. If they fail to pass the entrance exam, they will be shot. 99% of the candidates nationwide can pass the exam, and many things are not impossible, but they are not forced to do so. While some Leno was frantically training military skills, another group of people were also preparing for the final closing of the Doomsday Fortress. Not all post-apocalyptic survival supplies can be purchased on a large scale. Although the control measures in the United States are not as strict as those in China, 
it is still difficult to obtain large quantities of firearms, bulletproof vests, hazardous chemicals, and some extremely expensive high-dot-end electronic products that even the Leno people suffer from. Especially if these things are still sent to an apocalyptic fortress, you may not want to establish a country within the country, even the excuse of apocalypse is not effective. So a large part of the 10,000 Lanos are not exposed. These people have no apparent connection to the town of Bruffery, but are secretly collecting firearms, chemical materials, server hosts, construction machinery, and so on. These things don't need to be purchased, just have your company, factory, stock up on them in large quantities, and figure out where the stocked warehouses are. As the end of the world approaches, as a descendant of Amelica, not performing the traditional art of a zero-dollar purchase would be a great apology for my current nationality. Others can only purchase a few people, dozens of people, and having an automatic weapon would be overwhelming. But who is Leno? That's a person with 10,000 buddies, who can buy for zero for at least three digits. They are fully armed, driving tractors welded with steel plates, and organizing and planning to clear inventory. Whether it's strength, efficiency, or the revelers in the chaos of the apocalypse, they are not on the same order of magnitude. If nothing unexpected happens, it would be easy for the Lanos to survive the biochemical crisis for a year. However, if nothing unexpected happens, it will happen. As is well known, the biochemical crisis is an extremely special world. If it is an ordinary biochemical crisis, it is naturally relatively safe. However, if you wake up in this world and hear someone by your side saying, you are the best quality among these new people. There is no doubt that the problem is big, and Lin Shichio, the ordinary one in Lan Nua, woke up and heard this sentence. Cold. Trembling. Lano wakes up, to be continued, seeking collections, seeking recommended tickets request for tickets, end of this chapter. Chapter 4 you are the best quality among this group of newcomers. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4 You are the best quality among this group of newcomers When Lan Nua opened his eyes, he was bewildered. Lin Shichil was one of the many Lanuos undergoing military training, wearing a custom-made tactical vest at a high price, a pistol, a magazine, an energy stick, a medical kit, and even adrenaline, all of which were quite a few. Under normal circumstances, this outfit is enough to face the vast majority of troubles in reality, but looking at the group of people lying on the ground and the man holding the Desert Eagle, Leno still felt panicked, and the most worried thing eventually happened. What is this place? Why am I here? Leno immediately flipped over and sat up according to a normal person's reaction, while cleanly pulling out his waist pistol and holding it with both hands in a standard posture, pointing at the man who had just opened his mouth. At the same time, the man with a scar on his face also raised the desert eagle with infinite bullets in his hand, and a fierce smile appeared on his face. Very good, your reaction is fast. When you recall carefully, he has already put what you want to know in your mind. Lano stared at the man with vigilance, not putting down his gun, while searching for memories in his mind. Soon, memories of the main god space, horror film missions, and reincarnation appeared in his mind. It is obvious that this biochemical crisis is not an ordinary biochemical crisis, but a biochemical crisis selected by the main god space. Unfortunately, Leno was chosen as the reincarnator. As a work that has established the reputation of infinite flow, Leno has naturally watched it. The core setting of the work is the main god space, where the main god will send the reincarnators into one horror film after another. In the horror film, they can survive, complete tasks, change the plot, earn points, and exchange various abilities with the main god. For newcomers with no extraordinary power, the danger of the main god space is undoubtedly extremely great, which makes Leno feel heavy. In reality, Leno frowned, slowly lowered his gun, and nodded at the scarred man, saying, Leno, an apocalyptic patient. Zhang Jie, member of the Zhongzhou team. After speaking, the two of them sat quietly in the train. This was the train leading to the beehive and the beginning of the biochemical crisis. 
The protagonist's mission was to go inside the beehive and shut down the artificial intelligence flame queen, but they were unaware that the T. virus inside the beehive had leaked, and the beehive had become a breeding ground for zombies. The plot of the biochemical crisis has been repeatedly discussed by Leno, and every detail is clearly remembered by Leno. In contrast, the reincarnation is the uncertain factor. As time passed, the protagonist Jing Zha lying on the ground, one of the female leads Zhang Lan, the passerby a freight driver Mao Gang, high school student Li Xiaoyi, as well as the cannon fodder chubby man and middle-aged woman, gradually woke up. Next is Zhang Jie's commentary process, explaining what is the main divine space and maintaining a 100-meter range around Matthew Edison for this mission. Extra tasks include killing a zombie for 10 points, crawling for 100 points, killing teammates for 1,000 points, and automatically earning 1,000 points after living for 3 hours. Just like the setting in the game world, Little Fatty suddenly expresses his lust, that is, dying is just returning to his own body, and the unlucky Little Fatty is like in the plot, being shot deep in the throat by the Desert Eagle with infinite bullets held by Zhang Jie. At this moment, he is trembling and making everyone feel the cruelty of the main god space. However, the difference this time is that Lan Nua's appearance gave the reincarnators a second backbone, fully armed and well dot equipped. At first glance, they were not ordinary people. The most outgoing protagonist Cheng Zha patted Lan Nua's shoulder and said, Brother, are you actually a soldier in reality? What do you think we should do next? Lan Nua didn't want to speak up to attract attention, after all, Zhang Jie was not an ordinary reincarnator, but a powerful third-order spiritual power controller. He didn't want the newcomer to live on. If he were to become a leader, he would be targeted by Zhang Jie. But if you don't say anything, it becomes even more suspicious, so you sighed helplessly and said, my suggestion is to try to listen to experienced people. As you can see, he is stronger than us all combined. If you don't want to be killed, it's best to follow the command. Upon hearing this, high school student Li Xiaoyi retorted, killing teammates requires deduction of points. Even if he is stronger than us, he can't kill anyone casually. As soon as he finished speaking, he saw a look of pity in both Lano's and Zhang Jie's eyes. Lano spoke up to explain for Zhang Jie, Killing a teammate would result in a deduction of points, but breaking your limbs and leaving you to fend for yourself. Do you think you can escape under the siege of zombies like that? Zhang Jie looked at Lan Nua with a slight surprise, but he was also satisfied that Lan Nua could make this point clear. While some reincarnators were causing trouble, others were all cold hearted. Zhang Jie's speed and strength when he just threatened Little Fatty with a gun were not comparable to everyone's. If he didn't listen, he might really die. Even Zheng Zha couldn't help but swallow his saliva and felt immense pressure. Alright, the plot is about to begin, and the discussion about the plot is about to be interrupted by just one sentence heard by the characters. Everyone, be prepared. Zhang Jie stood up and walked towards the direction of the main character group. Everyone's identity was the security guard of the umbrella company, so even the elderly, weak, women and children could sneak into the beehive with mercenaries. After a brief conversation with Zhang Jie, mercenary captain Matthew Addison nodded and acknowledged everyone's security identity, but couldn't help but complain, except for you and Leno, the rest of us are like ordinary citizens. I really can't understand why the Umbrella Protection Company chose such people as security guards. A group of people entered the beehive, with Zhang Jie leading the way. The female protagonist Alice and Ryan, who had stolen the T-virus, both fell into amnesia. At this moment, they were blindly following the army. Like the mercenaries, Leno held a pistol and advanced cautiously. The group arrived at Restaurant B, where a large number of climbers were frozen in huge containers. In theory, if a bomb were used to blast the containers here, there was a chance to kill a large number of climbers. Zheng Zha also proposed the same suggestion, but it was mercilessly refuted by Zhang Jie. Our greatest reliance on surviving in horror movies is to be familiar with the plot. If you dare to destroy the plot at will, I will personally kill you. 
Under such a warning, Zheng Zha temporarily dispelled the idea of changing the plot, and Lan Nua did not intend to change the plot here. Without Zhang Jia, he could naturally use his security identity to persuade the mercenaries to bomb these containers. Zhang Jie is a third-dot-order spiritual power controller, and looking at the entire main god space, he is definitely considered a strong person. He can launch an attack with all his strength, and one person can slaughter the entire zombie of the beehive. Lano absolutely does not want to be enemies with such an existence. The group passed through several gates and arrived at the famous scene of biochemical crisis, the laser corridor. Computer expert Kaplan sacrificed a large amount of hair and finally opened the door to the laser corridor, while Matthew Addison and his team, holding an electric pulse device that could turn off the flame queen, went to the end of the corridor to prepare to place the device. As the mercenary captain was about to walk towards the death trap, Zheng Zha's kind-hearted personality finally couldn't bear it anymore. He couldn't help but remind him, wait, wait, don't you think it's a bit strange? This artificial intelligence is a bit useless, so I think things won't be that simple. There might be something strange in this channel. Upon hearing this, Matthew Addison looked coldly at Zheng Zha and said, I already thought something was wrong with you. Now you're preventing us from closing the Flame Queen. Alright, Zheng Zha and Leno, you two come in with me. Not to mention how desperate Zheng Zha was at this moment, Lan Nua widened his eyes upon hearing this. It should have been a passerby named Jia Mogang who was selected, but he fled and was killed. Lan Nua never expected that he would be caught up in it, and his whole person was not doing well. What are you waiting for? Come in quickly, said the mercenary captain coldly. Lan Nua couldn't escape naturally, so he gritted his teeth and walked into the laser corridor with Zheng Zha. Sorry brother, I didn't expect this to happen either, Zheng Xia apologized softly in Lan Nua's ear. At this point, we have to survive as much as possible. Lano clenched his pistol and focused on the laser emitter behind the glass on all sides of the corridor. He was not sure if the laser corridor would still be able to crack like in the original work, so he raised 100% vigilance. At the moment when the electric pulse device was activated, a blue laser quickly swept over from the height of everyone's waist. Leno quickly squatted down and watched as the unresponsive mercenaries in front of him were easily slashed by the laser, with blood and organs flowing all over the ground. If it weren't for Leno's previous psychological training with the corpse, he might have vomited it. Following closely behind, the second laser swept towards Lan Nua in an irregular path, not following the original trajectory as predicted by Zheng Zha, but intelligently changing direction according to everyone's avoidance. Lano's palms were covered in cold sweat as he watched a mercenary's skull being shaved off. The next laser aimed at him, even predicting his evasion, and making adjustments. Lano wanted to deceive the AI with a fake action, but it seemed to have been accurately calculated. The laser was only 10 centimeters away from him, and it was now located at his waist. It seemed like there was no time to squat or jump. As he was on the brink of death, Leno suddenly felt time freeze, and then his body seemed uncontrollable, squatting down fiercely. As a result, the laser mercilessly swept over him, cutting off the part above his chest. Just as Leno thought he was dead, a noisy voice rang out in his mind. Sleeping in a groove. It hurts. What the hell are you doing in 1926? Why are you in the laser corridor? At the same time, Time seemed to have returned to the starting point, and the laser was still 10 centimeters away from Leno. This time, Leno made a fierce jump and made a hurdle crossing motion, but was cut off by the laser on his hind foot, screamed and fell to the ground, and was repaired by a third laser. Gone. It hurts me so much, I can't jump over. Next one. Time has returned to the starting point once again, and Leno seems to have realized something. As he was struggling to the death, he probably summoned the help of others. Each of himself had a chance to control this body and try to avoid it once. As long as he succeeded once, he could imitate based on this experience. Almost at the same time, the third person leaned back and made an iron bridge movement. 
The laser swept over his chest, and just as he breathed a sigh of relief, the laser didn't speak of martial arts and killed a revolver, breaking Leno's arms and neck that supported the ground, completing the repair. Leno. TNND. You're playing with me, right? To be continued, seeking collections, seeking recommended tickets request for tickets, end of this chapter. Chapter 5. The Man with the Most Splendid Move. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5. The Man with the Most Splendid Move The Tenth Lano appeared, facing the sweeping laser. He had an iron bridge and flipped backwards as the laser swept over his stomach, just avoiding the laser's return rifle. He then rolled forward and dodged the second laser from behind. Unfortunately, his ankle was cut off by the third laser sweeping from top to bottom, making it difficult for him to move. He was surrounded by three lasers and killed in seconds. The 50th Lano, who dodged continuously, managed to withstand the siege of seven lasers without any escape and was brutally dismembered. Gone. Continuously avoiding is not a solution, I must counterattack. This laser is clearly controlled by AI, so if you see me dodging, chase me and kill me. The 70th Leno dodged the pincer attack of two lasers. Just as the third laser was formed, a shot passed by. Although the laser corridor was made of bulletproof glass, it was also riddled with cracks. The laser was refracted and immediately lost its power, forming a small ineffective laser zone. Unfortunately, bullets were unable to destroy the laser outside the corridor. Even if they could create small areas of laser ineffectiveness, Leno only managed to withstand 11 lasers and was hit by a pistol, losing his weapon, and ultimately dying tragically. However, he also saw that the laser corridor eventually became sluggish. Obviously, Kaplan was also working hard to crack the laser corridor. The 107th Leno, whose limbs were cut off, suddenly had a daze as a laser beam was about to behead him. Following his survival instinct, he made a thump on the ground, narrowly avoiding the laser. At the same time, the laser corridor was completely extinguished, and he became the first Leno to survive. However, he was immediately followed by boundless and intense pain, accompanied by excessive bleeding, and ultimately did not hold on. But the feeling of confusion and survival instinct in his eyes was recorded by Leno. It was the characteristic of unlocking the genetic lock and the most important setting in the infinite terrifying world, besides the main god. In the process of dying struggle, humans often unleash forces beyond their limits. For example, a thin and weak woman lifting a car with her bare hands to save her child is called unlocking the genetic lock. Lan Nua is not a great fortune teller like Sheng Zha, so in the first 106 desperate struggles, he was unable to unlock the genetic lock. However, his will to survive is not low compared to most people. Perhaps he will be very salty on weekdays, like a passerby's armor. Once their own lives were threatened, Leno would burst into a great sense of crisis and give their all for this individual. Therefore, after more than a hundred desperate struggles, Leno finally unlocked the genetic lock on the 107th attempt. Compared to the monsters in the Zhongzhou team, this efficiency is naturally at the waist level, but among ordinary people, especially Emilica, who is plagued by demons and monsters, it is already an excellent performance. On the 108th attempt, faced with the siege of eleven lasers, Leno found a feeling and successfully unlocked the gene lock again. His eyes were blank, and at the cost of losing one arm, he persevered until the laser corridor was cracked. However, immediately after the end, he knelt down in pain. Unlocking the gene lock has side effects, similar to the side effects of a large secretion of adrenaline, but it is even more painful. Without proper repair, it is difficult for most people to persist. The longer the gene lock is opened, the stronger the backlash. Although each Leno held a strong will to survive and persevered in pain, the 108th Leno still did not hold on. Gone. This is even more painful than being dismembered. As for me, I will try my best to reduce the time it takes to open the gene lock. When I reach the main god space, I will find a way to open it. 
After handing it over to the next relay of myself, the 108th Lan Nua also left the body of Lan Nua in 1926. The 131st Lano, who opened the gene lock for 21 seconds, successfully survived the backlash, but was paralyzed and carried back by the protagonist team. This time, Lano also tried to explore the time he could currently explore. Each time he summoned himself, he could only exist for a maximum of three minutes. After three minutes, no matter what happened, the next person would take over. The 163rd La Nua opened the gene lock for 13 seconds and successfully survived the backfire, but fell into weakness and was helped out of the laser corridor by Zheng Zha. The 27th Leno, unlocking the gene lock for 7 seconds, successfully survived the backfire and walked out of the laser corridor, but Matthew Addison died. The 351st Leno, after opening the gene lock for 3 seconds, had minimal backlash and remained in good condition. Matthew Addison was seriously injured. The 413RD Leno, with a gene lock activated for 2.7 seconds, had minimal backfire and remained in good condition. Matthew Addison was unharmed. Starting from this Leno, the remaining Leno was constantly familiarizing himself with the movements. It seemed that regardless of Leno's impatience, 10,000 of them had to relay once to end this dying struggle. Although it is extremely boring, considering that every review can increase one's survival rate, after all, Lano did not fail to overturn and have his hands and feet cut off later on. Lano patiently memorized every action of his own. After 99-99 rehearsals. On 1926, Lano personally faced the laser corridor and, under the horrified gaze of everyone, saw a movement of neo-bullet time, dodging the first laser. Then, he quickly stood up and took a leisurely step back. The laser of the return gun happened to pass by him, and at the same time, the pistol swung upwards, causing the bullet to crack the glass in the ceiling like a spider web, blocking the second laser's sneak attack. Mercenary Captain Matthew Addison cursed, shoot in such a small space. Do you want to die? However, Leno ignored him, and the jump shot did not hit anyone. The third laser hit, and Leno elegantly spun in place, like dancing, passing through the gap between the two lasers. The mercenary captain was stunned by this scene and forgot that as soon as he saw the laser coming towards him, just as he thought he was dead, Leno fired another shot on the left glass. The laser seemed to shine on the light ball in the disco, refracting into several lines. Although it was scorching, it couldn't even ignite his clothes. Matthew Addison, who had escaped the disaster, didn't have time to be grateful when Leno kicked him in the buttocks and leaned forward. The laser brushed over his scalp, causing him to feel as if his head was about to burn. Others saw that Leno was touching the ground with one foot, lifting his other foot up to support the mercenary captain's upper body, preventing him from falling and avoiding being cut off by the laser in front of him. He then fired four shots in a row, just enough to block the four laser attacks on him. The bouncing ball was wildly ejecting in the hallway, even brushing Lano's face as it flew by, but it didn't hit anyone. At this moment, everyone looked at Lano with a fairy-like gaze. And Lano's evasion seemed to have been targeted by the AI, as if he had calculated that there were no bullets in the Lano gun, 18 lasers, and ignored everyone else. He came from all directions, hanging towards Lano like a fence, and it was too late to change magazines or dodge normally. But Lano was not at all panicked. With a slight flick of his finger, the empty bullet clip fell off and his upper body trembled. The bullet clip in his tactical vest popped out and happened to fit into his pistol. At the same time, Lano jumped up and his body, like a gymnast, turned horizontally in mid-air. Facing the grating, he fired his pistol continuously, creating two craters on the left and right walls. Then, using the pistol that had been passed over Matthew Edison at some point, he fired around the upper and lower glass windows. At the age of 18, the laser was knocked unconscious for ten times, and the remaining eight just grazed Lon Nua's body as he crossed over. Without a trace, Lon Nua landed smoothly, while Zheng Zha and others present were already standing still. The less than two seconds that Leno shot in mid-air was when he unlocked the gene lock. 
Even Zhan Jie didn't notice that Leno had actually unlocked the gene lock, but that skill still made him frown uncontrollably. When Leno landed and dodged the last laser without any damage, Kaplan finally cracked the laser corridor and ended this terrifying laser killing array. After a brief moment of confusion, the mercenaries seemed to finally remember being able to breathe and burst into cheers. Matthew Addison even gave Leno a bear hug. Thank you. Brother, you're really amazing. Was that Chinese Kung Fu just now? At the same time, Lano also heard the main god's prompt and obtained a B.level side storyline with a reward of 4,000 points. To be continued, seeking collections, seeking recommended tickets request for tickets, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 Encountering Zombies You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 6 Encountering Zombies, Lano. Are you Superman? The one you jumped up just now was so handsome. High school student Li Xiaoyi even forgot the danger of the laser corridor. As soon as the steel gate opened, he rushed over, and other mercenaries also gathered around, patting Lano's shoulder to express gratitude. If it weren't for him attracting all the firepower from the laser corridor and distracting himself by shooting to save people, everyone would have died under that fence like laser. Don't hug me, I'm about to be strangled by you. I'm just an ordinary doomsday patient, so it's normal for me to have some self.defense skills. Leno gasped for breath as he was squeezed by the mercenary captain's bare hug. If all the end dot of dot life sufferers are so powerful, then I will recruit more end dot of dot life teammates in the future, huh? Matthew Addison slapped Leno's back hard, looking quite generous. All right. Don't waste time, everyone. Let's quickly shut down the Flame Queen and complete this damn mission. With Leno cracking the laser corridor directly, everyone's courage suddenly increased, and they all walked through the corridor to reach the control room of the Flame Queen. The reincarnations are all aware of the plot, so they have a clear understanding of the matter of closing the Flame Queen. Soon, the zombies trapped by the Flame Queen will be released, and they are gathered together, quietly discussing. Kid, you really impress me. Zhang Jie patted Lan Nua's shoulder with force, his tone complex. His identity was different from that of an ordinary reincarnator, but rather a guide who unexpectedly combined with the reincarnator. Due to some rules in the main divine space, after the person who unlocked the second dot order gene lock was born, he would automatically become the team leader. The guide was like a program guiding this process, and after the guide ended, it would naturally disappear. Zhang Jie is not only a guide, but also a reincarnator. He doesn't want to die, so the new members of the Zhongzhou team always perish under his guidance. However, his nature is cold on the outside and hot on the inside. He may not show mercy to unfamiliar new members, but once we get along for a while, it is difficult to be ruthless. People like Lan Nua will definitely not die in the short term, and may even unlock the second dot order gene lock to become the captain. Zhang Jie doesn't want to die, but he can't make up his mind to kill Lan Nua now, so his gaze towards Lan Nua is extremely conflicted. Lan Nua pretended not to notice Zhang Jie's gaze and forced a smile, saying, it's all for the sake of survival. Me and other end dot of dot life patients, for the sake of survival, go through arduous training every day. When the two were talking, Zheng Jia also approached awkwardly and said, I'm sorry, I didn't expect that changing the plot without authorization would have such serious consequences. If it weren't for Brother Lan's skill, I might have already killed him. It's all over now, we'll have to work together to deal with the zombies later. Lan Nua was actually a bit dissatisfied, but Zheng Jia was the protagonist who was loyal to Qi Yun, and even Lan Nua found it difficult to have any negative feelings towards him. I remember that after closing the Flame Queen, Restaurant B would be the first to be attacked by zombies. Zheng Jia, you and Mao Gang are both adults with relatively strong strength. You can use these two batons first. The zombies are stiff and have long weapons in your hands, which can prevent them from approaching. Zhang Lan and Li Xiaoyi, your physical strength is a bit weaker. 
My suggestion is to search for as many long-handled weapons as possible later, preferably explosion.proof forks. If not, sturdy mops and steel pipes can also be used. Once found, bring them to us immediately. Our patient group has studied that when dealing with zombies, these long-barreled weapons combined with firearms are better than simply wasting bullets with guns. Zombies have no brains, and even if poked, they won't grab the gun barrel. The front row people use these things to suppress zombies, while the back row people focus on shooting. Zombies with less than a hundred people can be easily solved by more than a dozen people in corridor terrain the Lano cluster has crossed into a world of biochemical crisis, and how to deal with zombie attacks is definitely a compulsory lesson for everyone. Everyone brainstormed and nodded, and Lano's stunning performance before convinced them to prepare to execute Lano's plan. Zhang Jie just watched and didn't speak. The plot has changed, and he has no reason to continue demanding everyone to follow suit. Quickly, the Flame Queen was shut down, and screams came from Restaurant B. Everyone rushed over and saw a female mercenary holding her hand, where she was bitten with blood dripping profusely. They're crazy. They're all crazy. The female mercenary's face turned ugly as she described how she was attacked by zombies, as if to verify her description. Outside the isolation gate, zombies stumbling one by one, blood-stained in red clothes, walked towards the crowd. Matthew Addison loudly warned the other party to stop. After consecutive warnings were ineffective, the mercenaries glanced at each other and immediately fired. The dense bullets pierced through several zombies, and blood shot fiercely. However, the zombies only shook and dragged their broken bodies forward. This terrifying scene soaked the palms of the mercenaries in cold sweat, and at that moment, the sound of continuous pistol shots rang out. Amidst rhythmic bangs, the heads of each zombie were shattered and they never got up again. The mercenary captain glanced and saw that it was Lano and Zhang Jie who were shooting. Zhang Jie was a super veteran with a third dot order gene lock and naturally hit every shot. Lano had just unlocked the first dot order gene lock, so even if he didn't need to summon himself for rehearsals, his 90% hit rate was still impressive. Head popping. The weakness of these monsters is their heads. Matthew Addison's reaction was quick, and all the zombies who were headed popping did not get up. The mercenaries heard this, and their fear subsided slightly. Since bullets can kill them, it's not as terrifying anymore. It's just that there are too many zombies, and not everyone's marksmanship is so outrageous. Soon, the tide of zombies approached the group of people fighting and retreating, and someone was about to be bitten. The zombie that rushed up was suddenly fiercely stabbed by a mop and fell to the ground. The mercenary who narrowly escaped turned his head and saw Zheng Zha holding the mop, poking the other zombie that came up. These limping walking creatures had really poor balance and could easily fall to the ground. The zombies behind them don't care about them, they just step on them and continue to move forward. At close range, long-handled weapons are even more useful than guns. Everyone hand over their weapons to someone with good marksmanship and the rest join me in blocking these monsters. Mao Gang, the original cannon fodder driver, mustered up the courage to shout, while Jean Lan and Li Xiaoyi hurriedly brought a large bundle of mop pipes and other things. Originally, mercenaries didn't look up to these physically useless security guards, but their reactions immediately impressed them. Six or seven mercenaries took their weapons and stood at the front with Zheng Zha and others. The professionally trained mercenaries were much better at using cold weapons than Jing Zha. They approached the zombies in front of them and were stabbed to the ground one by one. Everyone retreated into the corridor, which was only a three-meter wide entrance, with eight or nine people guarding it tightly. The mercenaries with good marksmanship behind them, with their rifles aimed at point shots, were almost at a distance of less than ten meters when their guns shot their heads. Coupled with these two perverts, Lan Nua and Zhang Jie, there were only over a hundred zombies that looked boundless. In less than ten minutes, they were all shot and killed. As everyone fought and retreated, miraculously no one was injured. They quickly retreated to the laser corridor, back to the control room of the Flame Queen, 
and closed the steel gate. Lano looked at his watch, which showed that he had killed 23 zombies and gained 230 reward points. Although the number was not large, it was already a significant gain for the new reincarnators. I really have you guys. I thought I was going to die, but I actually killed them. A mercenary patted the shoulder of Zheng Xia and others who were also fighting with blood. Without these security guards, they would surely have died a lot in this attack. Everyone took a brief rest in the control room of the Flame Queen, while Zheng Xia suggested that everyone stay in the control room. After all, this place is extremely safe, guarded by three gates and a laser corridor, and climbers cannot enter. They only need to survive until the end of time. Lano originally wanted to stop it, after all, in the original plot, the Flame Queen would cut off power midway and let the crawler rush in. Zheng Xia's survival depended entirely on luck, and he returned before the crawler killed him. Lano cannot guarantee that this time the crawler will rush in at such a precise time. But in the pursuit of wealth and fortune, the Flame Queen's motherboard can be said to be one of the most precious things in the first installment of the Resident Evil. Its value is placed in the main god space, and at least it requires multiple B.level side storylines. Be prepared to deal with the crawler's trap in advance and take a little risk to obtain the Flame Queen's motherboard. After hesitating for a moment, Lan Nua still chose to agree with Zheng Zha's proposal. To be continued, seeking collections, seeking recommended tickets request for tickets, end of this chapter. Chapter 7 Flame Queen You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Flame Queen After Zheng Zha and his group proposed to stay in the control hall, the mercenaries were all very surprised, but their reasons were very strong. They were physically weak and following the large army was a burden. Instead, staying in a safe control room and waiting for rescue had a better chance of survival. Matthew Addison ultimately agreed to Zheng Zha's proposal, but his gaze towards Leno was somewhat conflicted. Lan, do you really want to stay too? Lano nodded and said, they are my companions, and I must stay here to protect them. I'm sorry I can't continue to help you. Seeing Leno's resolute attitude, the mercenary captain had to agree. In his opinion, with Leno's presence, these security guards might really have hope of survival. After giving Leno a lot of firearms and ammunition, the mercenary captain left with the protagonist Alice and his group. In the control room, only the reincarnation group remained. Zheng Xia threatened the Flame Queen with a gun and said, I know your goal is to do everything possible to prevent the virus from leaking. Now, immediately close the gate and activate the laser corridor. Otherwise, I will immediately break your motherboard. Let the hive completely lose control. Although the Flame Queen doesn't understand why these people are doing this, she is a highly intelligent AI who knows she can only compromise when facing threats. The gates are closed one by one, and the laser corridor is also opened. The unprecedentedly safe environment also allowed everyone to relax and begin to express their feelings, explaining the things in the god space. Zhang Jia also let go of his guard and talked about his experience when he was on Ghost Street. At that time, I was still a newcomer. The experienced person at that time tried to grab a truck, and we all sat in the car, afraid to sleep. For five days and five nights, we were all trying to escape the small town where Freddy was stationed. When everyone was exhausted from exhaustion, we saw a new town in the distance, and we were overjoyed. But when the car entered, we realized that it was the town we had escaped from. And the experienced driver, who was already possessed by a demon, saw the scar on my face. That's what Freddy cut off flesh and blood one by one. The Lord can repair it, but I kept it. If I see him again, I will definitely kill him. Zhang Jie's terrifying experience on Ghost Street left everyone with lingering fear, but thinking it was safe now, everyone couldn't help but ask Zhang Jie about the exchange of the main god. Zhang Jie also didn't want to continue recalling painful experiences, so he explained, the most basic exchange of the main god is attribute enhancement, intelligence, mental power, cell vitality, neural response speed, muscle tissue strength, immune strength, all of which can be strengthened. 
In addition, it can be exchanged for various technological weapons, even science fiction weapons, just like the Desert Eagle with unlimited bullets in my hand. These weapons are usually very cheap, with only the type of unlimited bullets being more expensive. There are also magical and legendary weapons, such as talismans and magical props, which are more expensive than technological weapons, but they are superior in their ability to deal with ghosts and monsters, and they will not be powerless in the face of supernatural and terrifying horror film worlds. Finally, and also the most expensive, the ones that need to be exchanged for side storylines are the enhancement of martial arts bloodlines. For example, Spider Serum Enhancement requires a B.Level side storyline, adding 5000 reincarnation points, and even strengthening divine and demon bloodlines and cultivating cultivation techniques. However, these are too expensive for us to afford upon hearing this, Lan Noah was also calculating how to exchange it with the main deity to save Matthew Addison. He gave him 4000 reward points and a B.Level side storyline, which was 1,000 points less than the original work and should have been given by Zheng Zhao. However, even 4,000 points is already a considerable reward for newcomers. Um. Brother Zhang Jia, can we exchange some targeted items with the Lord God? For example, the anti-venom serum from the biochemical crisis world, or the formula for the anti-venom serum? Lan Nua couldn't help but ask. Upon hearing this, Zhang Jie shook his head and said, perhaps there are, but there are too many exchange items. It's difficult to find these exclusive items. If you just want to relieve the T.Virus, you can directly find the main god to repair it. Ten reincarnation points can completely cure it. If you want to bring it to the world of horror movies, the multifunctional and powerful detoxifying agent only costs 50 to 100 points. Why are you asking this? Did you just get bitten by a zombie? Lano shook his head and said, No, I'm just thinking, the protagonist Alice can gain extraordinary physical fitness after being infected with the T.Virus. Can we actively infect the T.Virus in the main god space and try to fuse? With the main god's protection, we can even try repeatedly. When everyone heard this, they were all amazed. The Lord God's repair is very cheap, and it only takes 50 points for limb amputation and rebirth. Attempting to actively contract the T-Virus seems really feasible. Zhang Jie couldn't help but raise an eyebrow. Lan Noah's performance reminded him of one of the important configurations in the reincarnation team, the Wise Man. Wise Men are the team's brain and it is the responsibility of the wise man to make suggestions and plan the use of reincarnation points, which is no less important than the captain's key figure. Although Lan Nua spoke very little, each time it was crucial. He seemed to have a somewhat wise appearance. If Lan Nua knew what Zhang Jie was thinking, he would definitely shout out for innocence. His individual intelligence is also the level of his average demeanor. With a gun, he may have a chance of getting into a key university. However, even if the gun is on his forehead, he probably won't be able to enter the Chinese Academy of Sciences. He is still 108,000 miles away from the wise, and they rely only on collective wisdom. I have collected some zombie flesh and blood, and we can give it a try when we return to space. Leno showed off the metal jar in his backpack, which is used for field sampling and has a good ceiling. It was customized by Leno to collect samples of infected organisms. As he spoke, Leno installed a plastic bomb at the last gate entrance and several bombs on the roof of the control room. Just in case, the laser corridor is not absolutely safe. Leno explained his behavior to everyone, and they also expressed understanding. They began to set traps for Leno. Just as everyone was busy, click. The room suddenly turned pitch black, and the Flame Queen suddenly lost power. Zheng Xia quickly remembered something. It was Kaplan. He remotely shut down the Flame Queen once to save the protagonist. The crowd, who had just relaxed, immediately became nervous and carefully huddled at the farthest distance from the door, afraid to make any sound, afraid of being detected by the climbers. But the twisted and deformed sound of the steel gate shattered everyone's imagination. 
The climbers were approaching step by step, their thick and hard forelimbs easily tearing apart the thick steel plate. The power was not something that ordinary people could resist, and even with firearms, it was difficult to kill this monster. The laser corridor was already in the control room, which was unable to stop the monster's invasion and had lost power. It was pitch black and out of sight, and everyone was like lambs waiting to be slaughtered. Faced with fear, Leno's heart began to beat faster and faster, holding a gun in one hand and a remote control for the bomb in the other. A familiar and unfamiliar feeling surged in his heart. Silently, Leno unplugged the motherboard of the Flame Queen and placed it in his backpack. Almost as the crawler tore open the last gate, Leno's eyes became confused and he pressed the detonation button for the bomb. To be continued, seeking collections, seeking recommended tickets request for tickets, end of this chapter. Chapter 8 Main God Space You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Main God Space The crawler's hard front paws unleashed a terrifying force similar to that of an excavator, easily tearing apart the last gate. Everyone, including Zhang Jia, except for Lan Nuo, seemed stunned and frantically fired, with bullets even flying towards Lan Nuo's side. However, Leno had already entered a state of rehearsal and unlocking the gene lock in an instant. The first Leno easily dodged the bullet and detonated the plastic bomb at the gate. Under the explosion of the bomb, the climber flew with blood and flesh. After all, it is a carbon-based creature that may be able to withstand bullets with its strong vitality, but the explosion of the bomb completely tore it apart, and it received a reward of 100 points. But what made Leno's pupils contract was that in the explosion of flames, not only one crawler arrived at the door. The first crawler had already died in the explosion, but two more followed. One of them had its front paws broken by the explosion, but the other behind it was intact. It seems like I'm going to die again, complained Lano in the first rehearsal. He opened the gene lock and rushed up, making it stronger to take action first. The gate was narrow and couldn't allow two climbers to pass through at the same time. The correct solution was to hold the door and kill one first. Bang bang. Leno, who raised his rifle with both hands, rushed three meters in front of the door, stood in a standard posture, and fired at the crawler's joints. In movies, it is impossible to move and shoot with a gun, at least the human body cannot do it. It is still difficult to unlock the gene lock. The surface of the crawler's body has a hard stratum corneum, which appears to be composed of flesh and blood. In fact, the skin is very tough, and only weak joints and eyes are weaknesses. The movement of the crawler, whose front paw was blown off, was restricted. After standing still, Leno fired almost 100 shots, and the full power bullet of the rifle was much stronger than that of a pistol. Blood and flesh splattered from the injured crawler's joint, and he fell to the ground just after taking two steps. However, before Leno could react, the crawler behind him used his companions in front to block his view and launched a surprise attack, directly knocking down Leno at the door. His front paws instantly tore Leno's neck. Gone. This thing is intelligent. The second Leno inherited the experience of the previous one, and after disabling the crawler, he instantly dodged to the side of the door, fired a shot, and exploded one of the crawler's suspected eye organs, attempting to use the blind spot to kill. However, crawlers do not rely on their eyes to distinguish prey, and their claws pierce their chests. The 21st Leno successfully lured the climber to the ceiling and took him away with a pre-buried bomb. Compared to the laser corridor, the difficulty of dealing with crawlers is obviously much smaller. The next time, we will become familiar with the killing process, constantly compressing the time to unlock the gene lock. At the same time, let every Leno experience the feeling of unlocking the gene lock, making it easier for them to unleash their potential when facing danger. It was Leno's turn in reality in 1926, and he ran to the gate with a swift pace, like a ghost in the dark, without any blind spots. Three bullets accurately shot into the crawler's joints, leaving the first crawler powerless to move. At this moment, the second crawler bounced and launched a surprise attack. Zhang Jie, 
who was hiding behind and pretending to be cute, opened his mouth. As his spiritual controller, he could easily see the crawler attacking in the dark, but in the end, he did not speak up to remind him. Just in the next moment, Leno's performance surprised even his third-level mental power controller's jaw. I saw Lano only take a step to the side, tilt his head sideways, and the crawler's front paws rub against his nose bridge, fiercely inserting into the alloy ground in front of him, briefly getting stuck on it. Lano calmly raised his gun, with the muzzle pressing against the connection between the crawler's sharp front paw and body, and then pulled the trigger. Bang! 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 Three dull gunshots, fired face to face, with almost all of their power hitting the base of the crawler's front paw, splattering blood, flesh, and broken bones. The paw was completely uncontrollable and could not be pulled out from the ground. Lano calmly walked towards the center of the control room, leaving his back for the crawler as if he was not afraid of a surprise attack. The climber couldn't pull out the broken front paw, so he exerted force and tore off one of his own front paws. Fiercely pouncing on Leno, who almost simultaneously turned around and fired, each shot hitting the crawler's fragile head, forcing him to retreat. The dangerous climber quickly climbed up to the wall, like a big spider, crawling around Leno in an attempt to find a weakness and launch a surprise attack. Unfortunately, he couldn't find any chance at all. Whenever he was ready to launch, Leno would shoot him perfectly in the head, forcing him to search for opportunities again. With one shot after another, the climber was finally pushed to the ceiling, ready to launch a deadly attack from the sky. Boom! Lano turned his back to the crawler, and in the violent explosion, even such a powerful biochemical weapon shattered into pieces of flesh in the flames. Zhang Jie was the only one among the few who could see this scene, and couldn't help but feel a dry mouth. His specialty was his mental ability. To make him use his firearms and Leno's physical fitness to deal with the crawler with such composure in front of him, he asked himself that he couldn't do it. Throughout the battle, he didn't even observe any signs of Leno unlocking the gene lock, which was simply outrageous. However, his stunned expression was soon overshadowed by the returning light. Suddenly, everyone who appeared in the main god space felt like they had survived a disaster. They were just in the midst of a tragic horror film world and now they arrived at the square with a large ball of light floating in it. Even Zhang Jie showed a tired face. Grasp the door handle here, imagine the room you want, and behind the door, it can become the room you want. The exchange will be discussed tomorrow, and you don't want to exchange anything except for creating people. Without looking back, he walked into a room. Creating a person is a free gift from the Lord God, and everyone can create a person for free. They can customize their body shape, personality, appearance, and talents. For those who wander in the Lord God space and have their heads pinned on their waistbands, it is undoubtedly to create a woman that belongs only to themselves, to enjoy themselves during their rest time. Zheng Jia, Li Xiaoyi, and Mao Gang were all eager to give it a try, while Zhang Lan showed a disdainful expression. The stinky men all had a dying expression. Humph. Do men only think with their lower bodies like this? Zhang Lan stomped her feet and turned around to leave. At this moment, Lan Nua stopped her and said, Wait, I have some opinions on the welfare of creating people. Zheng Jia, you should also pause for a moment and listen to me before making a decision. Lano's stunning performance before made his words very convincing, so everyone stopped, including Jean Lan, and returned to the bottom of the main god's big light ball to hear Lano's opinion. To be continued, seeking collections, seeking recommended tickets request for tickets, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 Personnel Creation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Personnel Creation Lano patted the ground, gesturing for everyone to sit down and speak, then pointed to the main divine light fairway in the sky, saying, the benefit that the main divine gives us is that we can create a life form and customize it, but I just tried it and found that not all kinds of life can be created at will. I tried to make the Lord God create an angel, an orc, and a slime, but all failed, ha. Huh? Abnormal. 
Zhang Lan blushed, as if she had imagined something indescribable. Zheng Xia and the others showed expressions that you still know how to play. Cough cough, what are you thinking? I want to create angels because in mythology, angels are very strong. If we can bring them to the world of horror movies, wouldn't we be able to kill them indiscriminately? After Lan Nua finished speaking, Zheng Xia and the four of them were all stunned, including Zhang Lan, a woman who did not intend to use the quota for creating people, who also opened her mouth wide and had such an expression on her face. However, reality is very cruel. Whether it's Western angels, demons, or Eastern immortals, demons, or even exotic beasts in the classic of mountains and seas, they cannot be created. The result of my attempt is that only Homo sapiens, black, white, and yellow people can be created, and some ethnic minorities can also be created, such as those from African hunting tribes, whose physical fitness is naturally much stronger than ours. These people's physical fitness can be adjusted to the limits of the human body, but there are slight differences in the limits of the human body among different races. Black people have stronger extreme strength, but their physical agility is far inferior to that of yellow people, while white people are relatively mediocre, with various qualities falling between the two. This basically corresponds to the situation of the Olympic Games in reality, where the track and field arena is mostly dedicated to black people, while table tennis and badminton, which compete for flexibility, are mostly dominated by yellow people. However, regardless of their race, their ultimate physical fitness far exceeds ours, and even those of us who have exchanged attributes may not necessarily be their opponents. Because the Lord God can set them to be knowledgeable and proficient in most combat techniques, even if their attributes are the same, we are likely not their opponents. I believe that such artificial humans can actually serve as our bodyguards during our fragile early stages, and they can basically do better than us in solving problems that require force after Lan Noah finished speaking, the faces of Sheng Xia and the other three men all showed a puzzled expression. They had already planned to create a perfect woman that belonged only to themselves, but now they are being asked to create a muscular man, which is a bit complicated. Li Xiaoyi murmured softly, can't we create a female hero who can fight? Lan Nua nodded and said, in theory, it is possible, but women's physical fitness is much lower than men's. Similarly, in the 62 kg snatch, the men's world record is 154 kg, while women only weigh 117 kg. With the same body limit, women are much weaker than men. Not only that, the life forms created by the main god must also abide by the laws of physics. If you choose the female body limit, then the female hero created is probably this kind of figure Leno allowed the main deity to project a holographic projection of a woman who was 1.85 meters tall and had a figure comparable to the protein queen in the biology book. If you happen to be interested in this type, it's actually possible, Lan Nua's serious words immediately made high school student Li Xiaoyi's face turn pale. Jean Lan couldn't help but chuckle and say, you deserve it. All right. Don't all face it with bitterness, what I'm saying is just a feasible option. Ultimately, this reward is only worth 500 reincarnation points. If an artificial person dies and remakes, it only costs 500 points. Even if we create a super bodyguard, it will only help us in the early stages. If there are people who are extremely concerned, they can also be created. The emotional support and material assistance are equally important for our survival in the space of the Lord God. Jean Lan, do not discriminate against men's choices. In order to protect the people we cherish, men can burst out with a strong will to survive. This is something that has been engraved in human genes for millions of years of evolution. If it's just creating a tool to release desires, I disagree, but if it's creating a partner, I agree. In places like God's space, each of us needs a reason to live Lan Nua's words made everyone ponder, and in the end, Zheng Zha still replicated his deceased girlfriend Loli in reality, while Li Xiaoyi chose to create a blonde older sister. Only Mao Gang, who should have died, chose to create a muscular man who was two meters tall and followed Lan Nua's advice. After hesitating for a moment, Zhang Lan did not create. 
Instead, she stared at Leno and pushed the iconic black framed glasses on her nose bridge. What kind of person are you planning to create? If you also want to create women, I can avoid it, she said, that's not necessary. Lano scratched his head and said, I want to create myself who has the ultimate physical fitness and is knowledgeable and talented, and I am doing mental development. Jean Lan widened her eyes upon hearing this and said, Why do you want to create yourself? If it's a bodyguard, as long as you're loyal, it's good. If it's you who creates yourself, then he can't guarantee that he won't betray you in order to survive. Lano smiled bitterly and said, that's why I need to do mental construction. I need to treat the created me as myself to ensure that he also sees me in the same way. Jean Lan's gaze at Lano was like looking at a monster. She thought Lano was the most normal person among all, but now she realized that Lano was the real madman who forced herself to die for her own clone. This mentality, in the eyes of those who were unaware of Lano's situation, was full of self-destructive tendencies, and only a madman would do so. Don't worry about me, you go back and rest. I need to prepare for a while. Leno's expression was very helpless, not that he wanted to die for his own clone, but facing the clone, it was an inevitable development in the main god space. Even if Leno doesn't create replicants, the main god space will eventually create replicants for Leno in the demon team. To fulfill a promise that cannot be missed, facing oneself is necessary. As the light from the main deity gradually condensed, a man with a height of 1.85 meters, a robust figure, and a appearance similar to Leno appeared on the square. The two of them looked at each other with four eyes, almost at the same time. Leno pulled out his gun, the clone waved his fist, and all of them greeted the opponent's deadly points. At the same time, the two of them became confused. In Lano's rehearsal, they dodged their fists to the limit and counted out, 1680. At the same time, Muscle Lano also reported another number. 9415 You can also use rehearsals. I can also use rehearsals. The battle ended, and for the next three minutes, the two of them began chatting. Lano. Are you saying that this body has also joined our 10,000th hole? Muscle Leno said, that's right, I was summoned by the rehearsal. I estimate that in three minutes, we will meet in the following pairs of our personalities. The two of them looked at each other and said in unison, I have a bold idea. Then the two of them looked at the main god's light ball at the same time. What would happen if the two of them exchanged items with the main god during the rehearsal? Strengthening nature cannot be taken away, but what if it is a technology material exchanged? Isn't it possible to obtain information from the Lord God for free? Exchange a large amount of black technology data. To be continued, seeking collections, seeking recommended tickets request for tickets, end of this chapter. Chapter 10. Stealing Technology. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Stealing Technology The minds of the Linos are similar, so the two Linos almost simultaneously thought of the mischievous operation of exchanging technology with the Lord God. We can ask the main deity to exchange technology information during the rehearsal, then memorize the information and exchange different information for the next rehearsal. This way, we can indulge in the main deity's black technology for free. I remember the main deity's technology items have been exchanged until the interstellar era. Muscle Blue Noah was enthusiastic. Reincarnator Lan Noah remained silent for a moment, shook his head, and said, We do have a chance to exploit loopholes. In the original work, Chu Xian took advantage of the loophole of the main god and leaked his information to the real world. But with the ability of the main god, we may not necessarily be unaware of our rehearsal. My suggestion is to exchange a small amount of the most needed technology for it on the first attempt. After the rehearsal is over, observe whether the main god deducts points, and if not, consider drilling loopholes upon hearing this, Muscle Lano immediately understood what it meant. Are you saying that you're worried that the Lord God might have recorded the items we exchanged? Finally, deduct the money and turn our reincarnation point into a negative number, directly erasing it. That's right, 
Our rehearsal is somewhat similar to opening multiple timelines in place, and the ability of the main deity, from a set perspective, is fully capable of crossing multiple timelines. In theory, the Lord has the ability to detect us cheating, but the Lord's program may not necessarily hold us accountable for cheating Reincarnator Lano explained. Muscular Lano pondered for a moment and said, in that case, let's first exchange the production equipment materials for the T.Virus antidote and vaccine. This part is what we need the most, not only to help the collective immunity against the T.Virus, but also to try to unlock genes with the help of the T.Virus. I think so too. Reincarnator Lano quickly flipped the screen, but we don't have the captain's permission, we can only search through a massive amount of exchange items. A rehearsal only lasts for three minutes, and even 10,000 of us may not be able to find the relevant production line. It's okay, come a few more times, as long as you have patience, you can definitely find it. Muscle Lano and Reincarnation Lano stared at the light screen together, to prevent high-dot-speed flipping and missing the exchange. Three minutes quickly came to an end, and a new pair of Lanos came on. As the two guessed, two people who also had previews faced each other, and in each rehearsal, there was no situation where one person was unilaterally targeted. At present, Leno is using this kind of rehearsal to cheat. In three minutes, at a glance, Leno can check over a thousand exchange items, which is a very patient process. After checking the third million exchange items, Leno finally found the exchange items in the biochemical crisis, which boosted the morale of all Leno. The main god is somewhat conscientious, as specialties from the same world are arranged together, such as the enhancement of the female protagonist Alice, the transformation technology of the crawler, and even the enhancement of transforming oneself into a tyrant. Moreover, as long as there are 2D.level side storylines, Alice's enhancement requires a C.level side storyline. Lano did not exchange biochemical modification technology, but went straight to the goal of producing T.Virus immune serum technology. The next step is to frantically memorize the technical details. Three minutes is definitely not enough to memorize all of them, so each Lano tried to memorize a part as much as possible and put it back together. Although everyone memorized a part of it, in the last few La Noa, after listening to so many recitations like reciting scriptures, they could basically recite the entire text. 10,000 rehearsals have ended, returning to reality. In the main god space, Leno and the muscle Leno only avoided each other's attacks, and did nothing extra. La Noa recalled his previous memories, vividly remembering the method of preparing T.Virus immune serum. Then he checked his own cycle points, 5,530 cycle points, none of which were missing. The side plot was also B.Level, which means that the main god did not investigate La Noa's behavior of exploiting loopholes. It seems that our attempt has been successful, and the main deity himself may not attach great importance to technical information. The prices of many weapon drawings and production line materials are not even as high as the price of the weapon itself. Lano rubbed his brow, and the high intensity recitation made him feel a bit headache. Indeed, exchanging materials with the main deity also requires the consumption of reincarnation points. The weapons produced by building a production line in the room are cheaper and limited compared to directly exchanging from the main deity. Therefore, the main deity's restrictions on technical materials may be very relaxed. While communicating with Muscle Leno, in a world of biochemical crisis, Leno woke up one by one from their dreams, then quickly jumped up and ran to the computer in the room to record. One hour later, Lano, who was responsible for coordinating the data, integrated all the technical information for the production of T-Virus antidote from each Lano's records. Many of the equipment needed in this was not available in the town of Bruffrey, but these were not problems. Nowadays, society has not yet collapsed, the industrial system is still in operation, and the virus has just infected Raccoon City. If you want to purchase industrial equipment, you only need to place an order. Don't worry even if you don't have money. Leno can definitely take out loans with his own reputation, real estate under his name, the post-apocalyptic fortress of Brunei, and even fruit loans. 
Leno is fearless, the end of the world is coming, and no one will come to demand debt. A large number of orders were sent to numerous medical enterprises. Although some equipment is rare and even regulated, in capital-dominated countries, money can buy almost anything. In less than a week, all equipment for industrial production of T-virus antidote arrived. La Noa, who were familiar with the production process, quickly assembled the equipment in the safest basement. As La Noa, who was wearing more than a dozen white coats, began to busy, the production line also began to operate. Organic extraction, centrifugal separation, low dot temperature cultivation, and collection of bacterial strains, each La Noa meticulously completed the production process like a professional medical laboratory member, producing tubes of light blue reagents. As long as the raw materials are sufficient, there is no problem producing tens of thousands of tubes of such reagents in a day. What really matters is whether the reagents work. Lano, who was responsible for testing, wore chemical protective clothing and entered a disinfection room. Inside the disinfection room, there was a closed room, and all entry and exit must undergo the strictest disinfection. Because the room was filled with samples of bodies taken by Leno and his friends at the Raccoon City Cemetery, risking their lives, the bodies in the cemetery would soon turn into living dead and crawl out of the soil. Leno only secretly dug one back, and as for the life-threatening one, he was almost shot in the head by the gatekeeper with a double-barreled shotgun the flesh and blood containing the virus were fed to mice, and soon it was seen that the mice began to go crazy, biting at their own kind. The mice that were bitten also began to gradually become manic. Just before they could really go crazy, a big hand with thick gloves grabbed them and pressed them onto the experimental table, revealing their white buttocks and preparing to inject the antidote. To be continued, seeking collections, seeking recommended tickets request for tickets, end of this chapter.